It's a bit gross down the bottom, that's why. But there's plenty to go around. <laughs> so well, one of the best things about grocery stores is that there are always samples. And there are always tofu samples. And I love tofu. And I'm going to try some marinated tofu. What else you need? Uh, it looks like maybe there's meat. Excellent. Mm, good. Do you want to buy some? Oh, hello there. So here I am at the mushroom section, and as you can see, it's very, very big. We've got these ones, which are kind of gross. These ones, which are I like in soup. Mm, the normal white mushrooms, which are actually the most expensive, I think, and so dried mushrooms, and and these ones are my personal favorite, on sale for $3, save $1, pretty good deal. Wow, they have huge stock, do you eat the whole thing? Yes, you do, um, they're good in stir fries. And, and do they taste like normal mushrooms? They taste a little bit different. They've got like a more chewy texture. Ah. And it's, yeah, they're my favorite. So this is durian. It's a really, it's a really <laughs> spiky, stinky fruit. When you cut it open, it it smells disgusting, like wet socks and raw sewage. And really it pleasant. It tastes and it tastes. Same way it's gross. Oh, why do people eat it? I'm not sure. Does it smell like, now? No, now it smells okay, but when you cut it open. And here is something else mm, that you probably don't awesome. find at home dried persimmon. Um, oh. We've got plenty of these at home, as you know. But dried like ones it. or fresh ones? Uh, we have both. Dried ones. Oh, no, 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 you're right. They're fresh, but fresh. They want our attention. They want us to try their samples. Oh, okay, let's do it. So what's this? Persimmon. This is a hard persimmon. Hard. Hard as in raw? Mm, there's hard persimmon and soft persimmon. And so it's crunchy like an apple. These are the ones you have at home. Mm. Mm. But not the ones in the freezer that I use for food. So Korea is really big on dried fish. Um, the kids even have it for snacks with their milk, like dried anchovies. So here's a box uh, on sale from $25 to $12 for all that. Mmm, smells Fish good. Okay, so uh, it's kimchi season in Korea, so that's what this is for. All of this cabbage and people buy in bulk. And this is uh, radish as well. And this is what people use for kimchi. So we were trying to film over there before in the 
better seaweed section where everything's like out on display. But the lady caught us and she said, oh, no picture, no picture. So here we are in the packaged seaweed section, which is still pretty cool, but not as good as the other stuff. Maybe we can speak back to For your whole life. You could possibly need. Actually, this is gochi jack. This is the red type of fish. But mm. and then we have. Oh, even bigger. Here we go. It looks like kitty litter. This is the one that I really like. Got it at home, not in the size. <laughs> but. Uh, okay, here's the span. <laughs> so Koreans love spam and um, for Chuseok, for Korean Thanksgiving, uh, all the teachers, except for myself and one other teacher who don't eat meat, uh, got 15 cans of spam from our kids. <laughs> you know, it's a nice spot. <sighs> what do you do with 15 cans of spam? Fry it up. So we're buying a uh, black bean or maybe red bean. Taste fish. Yeah, and it's delicious. <laughs> yum yum. What's the word for delicious, Dad? Mashi sayo. Kiss it. <laughs> and now eat its face. <laughs> so, this is uh, what we have as options for. These are our cheese options shredded cheese at the bottom. Um, Margarine for you know seven eight dollars. Uh, little tiny cubes of cheese for again seven eight dollars. There's this strawberry cheese which I've been curious about. Only three dollars. Uh, cream cheese. This is a good deal. Cream cheese is usually five dollars for this two hundred gram container. It's three seventy right now. And this camembert, which uh, I haven't tried this one, but I have one. This one. Crap. It's really rubbery. It's really not. Laughing cow cheese. Oh yeah, laughing cow. Of course. But again, five dollars. Really worth five dollars. I'd buy it a couple times. Not gonna lie. What about um, oh, these well, sandwich cheeses? Plastic mm -hmm. cheese? Plastic cheese never good. If you want processed cheese. Oh my yeah, gosh. Twenty dollars. Is that like McDonald's, but better or worse? Sure, but it comes with, I don't know, it doesn't say how many, but a lot of slices, many, many slices. So yeah, this is why I don't eat cheese in Korea. So this is all kimchi in different forms. Um, here we have quail eggs. Um, and then it's walnuts and anchovies and sesame leaves, which are disgusting. I keep trying to eat them and I, I want to like them, but they're terrible. Um, some more spicy side dishes. Uh, ooh, look at that garlic. Yeah. And here, a swimming pool of little shrimp. A swimming pool of what? Little shrimp. Swim away! <laughs> That's at the free. Plankton. Too bad you don't eat seafood. Koreans um, are obsessed with ginseng. They think it's really, really healthy and it has many health benefits. And maybe this is true. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Do you know? Um, so here is some ginseng. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and by you guys, I mean Dad. 